Building a few questions from you guys on social media around um, getting a walk around on one of these TDX setups that we've been building. Um, so we'll crack into it. Uh, this is a Ford Ranger Extra Cab. Um, TDX run these throughout their fleet and they're fitting out their vehicles with this setup on the back just a rinse and repeat um, makes it nice and easy and it just makes things nice and continuous for the company. Um, so we'll start down here. Got a fold out vice swing out from underneath. So nice and easy to access. You got clearance from the canopy. Pull it back, let it go, and that locks in. Um, fuel through here into this side of the toolbox. Everything's central locked. Got LED lights up the top. You can choose between different colours. Um, the lights are actually run off the pin switch. So when you shut the doors, the lights turn off. That's the same with all of our products that are equipped with central locking and lighting. There's also a door ajar alarm running off that pin switch. So if, if you are if you are busy packing down on site one day and you do leave the gull wing door open, what's going to happen is as soon as you turn the ignition on in the cab, the buzzer is going to sound and warn you that one of your gull wing doors is open, which is a really handy feature. It stops you ripping the door off when you're driving away and causing downtime, which is what we're trying to avoid. Um, in here, we have, or our design team, has very cleverly rerouted the choke cable and the electric start for the compressor in the back. So we'll pop around and have a quick look at the compressor. The compressor is in the back here. Uh, we've got a 15 metre retractable hose reel. Um, that is a 7 horsepower cola compressor. Um, really grunty compressor for trades environment um, and diesel service techs. Box, but we just wanted to show you this here. So this is the fuel hatch for the compressor. So it means you're not having to muck around trying to get in there and fill this thing up. You've actually got a nice easy way to do it and then cover it up so it's away from the elements. These vehicles also go through a GVM upgrade while they're with us. So. Um, this one's this one's had a Petters system installed in it. So GVM upgrades mean that you increase the carrying capacity of the vehicle overall. Um, it means that uh, they, these guys that are using these vehicles in this certain industry and industries like this one, they're loading them up to the hilt and you need to be aware of your GVM um, and how close you are to it and whether you do need to carry out a GVM upgrade. Um, instead of just your basic suspension upgrade. Back into the passenger side, we've got the Red Arc RS3 1200 watt inverter. Um, so that is in there for the operators to basically access 240 volt power. Um, this one is set up without a house battery, so that means that the vehicle must be running when you're using the inverter or you run the risk of draining the, bat the starter battery. Um, we do offer setups where we install a house or auxiliary battery somewhere in the system. Um, it really depends on, on how it's been set up by the customer and what the requirements are. Right, so this, this is our rotationally moulded 35 litre undermount water tank. Um, TDX has spec this into the build because they need water on site for various reasons. Um, one being health and safety. Um, you can wash your hands with it. So it's gravity fed. Turn the tap, water flows out. Lock it off. So you fill and empty through the hose valve at the bottom. Um, we've got a sheet metal facade on here so it looks like an undermount toolbox. Um, continues the shape and, and the look of the lines. Um, so you can't really tell from a distance that it is actually a water tank under there unless you're really looking for it. It's quite a popular option um, with our users in the commercial industry that aren't running a headboard and they can't make the most of our headboard mounted water tank. So 
The headboard mounted water tank gives you 50 litres of storage. The undermount water tank at the rear gives you 35 litres, which is still a lot of water um, if you are returning to site daily. mentioned earlier this is an extra cab ranger meaning the tray is 2100 mil long overall um, this is a 1300 long toolbox which leaves the users with 765 mil from the inside of the tailgate to the bash plates so it's a really usable space on the back um, you can store you know any any amount of gear on there equipment um, that you're carrying home from site or carrying to site um, very versatile You've still got plenty of storage inside with all of the modular shelving. Um, you can add drawers to these if you like as well. We do have a deep drawer that's 285 mil deep that you can spec in with a stainless steel underbench, or you can just run two stacked standard height drawers at 135 mil. There's plenty of options. We've got heaps of um, different ways of setting these up, um, and that really sort of points towards the modular nature of our system. Um, if you are interested in talking to us about a setup similar to this. We're all ears, we're here to help, and we're here to make it work for you and your company.